Hey guys, today we will be uh, using this stock down pipe here and uh, making a hood stack out of uh, out of this here pipe. So this clamp, we'll clamp this back on here. We're gonna have to cut a triangle piece and angle this a bit more that way. And then probably chop this here and use this part as the pipe that goes through the hood. So now, set that there and we gotta take the good old four inch straight pipe off and fix a boost leak and then route this thing up. Okay, now all we gotta do is uh, take that V clamp off on the turbo for the down pipe because right now the only thing connected is the down pipe. The rest of the exhaust is laying in pieces all around the driveway. My eight inch hexagon tip there. And yeah, so this will be the third exhaust setup this truck's had. It's had, you know, normal side exit axle dump. And now I'll have a hood stack and this will be the tip I'll be putting on right there. So let's get this thing off and start mocking up a hood stack. Okay, now we're gonna, for just the fun of it, we're gonna see what it sounds like with no exhaust. So we'll get a clip of that. You got coal all over your hand, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I smell it. <laughs> We're trying to mock up where the heck do this thing. Oh yeah, yeah, so we do have to bend it a bit. Okay, I see. About an inch, I think. So it comes out. But we don't really want to touch in that plastic. Well, it'll be fine. About an inch. So basically we're gonna have to cut this so it bends over here then use this to come straight up right we'll get her done and we'll do some cutting Okay, now we're just gonna mark the pizza cuts we're gonna make and tack together. Probably gonna have to cut somewhere over here too. But just going one step at a time now for now. So, show you what we got when we cut them off. So like right here, we just gotta cut this and then curve it out here a little bit and then we'll be pretty decent. Pretty man decent. <laughs> Zach. Yeah, your teeth are oh. crystal white. My legs are still Dude, <laughs> I can't even see your eyes right now. <laughs> okay, basically what we got here, we got the triangle piece there, so this is more bent here, and then weld it, cut a triangle up, weld it here so that it would bend around the dipstick tube. And then we got this piece here, and now we're just got this, this is the part, the bottom of the downpipe cut here, and it'll sit like that in the, truck so we got the hood off and about ready to get the good old hood stack done
got the second hood out here. I did some customization to it. That's that. Okay, here we are. Final hood stack here. Oh yeah. I leave so much tools on my top here. Here's what it looks like right by the there and right by here. We're gonna cut this down and get the hood lined up too. And yeah, it clamps on there. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but Buddy J Dog got her on, so he gets the he gets that uh whatever. Oh, I should take these off the here, dude. Almost. Got the hood lined up and right now putting the hood on we're just i'm putting some tape on so it doesn't so i don't scratch it when i hit it with the drill because this hood's not bad shape i don't want to wreck the paint that'd uh, really be unfortunate but yeah let's keep on doing that okay we just got her this thing can have some kick sometimes <laughs> see that's what i mean look at that's why i put tape on it look at that it's scratched <laughs> Wait, did I say... Oh, I broke the drill. Okay, all right. Let's keep going. Good thing this. <laughs> oh, If I would have listened to other people instead of myself, we wouldn't have damaged the fresh paint on the hood, but what can you do? Now we just now we just got ourselves a good old trash bag. Oh my god, there's a wiener on there. I didn't even notice that. Uh, well, I'm gonna grab some pliers and rip this out. Oh, these will work. I'll make on. currently sitting in my bed editing this video and i forgot to mention so we tested the hood stack out worked pretty good pretty mint but uh when we were doing this we must have not have tightened the intercooler boot clamp very tight we ended up blowing a boot off on the highway but i was like fully floored in fourth gear like dropped over drive and then yeah all that pressure just blew that boot off we actually got it on video so i'm gonna post the videos after this of testing out the hood stack and then there'll also be the boot blowing off in there which i don't know i'm kind of happy we got it on video <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs>
Okay guys, I ended the last video with no ending, no outro. So I'm gonna wrap the outro up right now. The hood stack is finished. There's a hood on it now. The hood's not the same color, but you can hardly tell to be honest. And we didn't end up putting a hood stack, like an actual stack, like the tip on it. Uh, instead, we went with something a little, uh, a little more redneck and uh, unusual on a pickup truck. Uh, and we added something else to it too while we did that. I'll show you. It's practical though. It actually like it's actually good for the hood stack. Can see here it's idling. We got hole cut in the hood with a tractor flap, and we added a beacon light. Every truck needs a beacon light. Three quarter ton and up. And have your beacons on. And here's my favorite part of the. Love the tractor flap. Totally worth it. I have no door panel in right now because my truck got broken into as you can uh, see. What's going on now? We're just taking pictures and videos for TikTok right now, so that's why I'm parked here. Oh, my truck is filthy right now. It's been farm break. You see there's stakes in the back of the farm. And that'll be the end of this video, guys. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, make sure you subscribe because that'll make sure you see it. Turn on notifications if you want to. Then you get notified whenever I post. Just climbing dirt right now. I was up there taking pictures, but yeah, that'll be the end of this video. So have a nice night, guys.